Hello, everybody, and welcome to Drew in the Moment. Hi, guys. We are here in Epcot, and why are we here in Epcot, Queen? Oh, you know why? Why? Because Flower and Garden is around the corner, guys. It really around is. It's around the yeah. corner. It's my favorite uh, festival here at Epcot, for sure, hands down. And today, we want to kind of go around and check out anything that they've like put up for like basically construction yes. updates, because uh, it's next week. March 4th is when the first day of Flower and Garden starts. That's actually my March 1st. First. I thought it was 4th. No, the 1st. First. first. That's what I said. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go check out what they got going on. Like, obviously, we have this awesome Donald and Daisy topiary behind us. So we're going to look for things like that. We're excited. High fives. So let's go through this. So this right here is new. I don't ever remember seeing this for Flower and Garden. This specifically in this area. They look so awesome and I love all like the, the containers overflowing with beautiful plants. It's gorgeous. Oh, the flowers. Oh, oh springtime. It's coming to life, Queen. Can smell the flowers. I can smell it and oh my gourd. It looks like there's a gourd over here. Look at this. It's a tiny gourd or pumpkin. I don't even know. It's got to be a pumpkin. Now that's got to be a pumpkin. That is awesome. Oh, see, I'm already, I'm already feeling the flower and garden vibes. Oh. And flower and garden, it is out of this world. It is out of this world good. And you know what else is out of this world? Buzz. Lightyear. Buzz is back. He is, or at least been here for the last few years. He looks awesome. He looks happy, doesn't he? He looks like he is ready. Well, he's protecting the galaxy. Oh, he's you're right. Space. Yes. He's, spot. He's, he's protecting mis uh, Mission Space and a meteorite that's right over here. Look at that. That's a meteorite. Or maybe it's a rock. I don't know. A bunch of rocks. Let's just pretend they're meteorites. So. Just because just it'll be fun. <laughs> but he looks awesome. So there is such a special feeling I have. The smells, getting ready for springtime. It's like, re, like renew, rejuvenation. You know what I mean? It's bring, it's bringing stuff back to life, and it's just exciting. I'm, I'm so excited because the warm weather is coming about as well. Like today, it's in the 80s right now. It feels like 90s, but uh, it's just gonna keep getting warmer, and I'm okay with that. Is I'll take that over snow any day. So Queen and I don't know if this is new. I think this little area is new. Because you think it's a, yeah, you think this is a new area? I think you're right, because I don't ever recall seeing Jurassic Park in Disney. That is cool, though. I've never noticed that. If you guys know if this actually is new or if it's existed. No, you don't think so? I have no idea. My memory's not what it used to be. Is this new or is this an old yeah, thing? <laughs> uh, regardless, it looks awesome. They have these cool things that are up and these always for some weird reason, I believe it's called the TARDIS. I think it's called the TARDIS. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like that's the name of uh, like that robot character. But these look awesome. I mean, you always gotta take a moment just to smell the flowers. You know what I mean? Stop and smell them. Uh, succulents. They got the succulents. Look at that. And look at the morning dew. Look at that, see? Because it was really foggy this morning, so it's got it's got dew all over it. Smell. Smell it in. Waft, everybody. Spring has sprung. So we are here at Brunch Caught. And you can see they already have the International Flower and Garden Festival. The reason why I'm so excited about this area in particular. Last year, they had an avocado toast that was just so good, man. It was amazing. And I can't believe I'm saying that about avocado toast. Not that I don't like it, but I didn't think it would have a wow factor. Um, but we believe, 90% sure, that it's going to be here. And we are gonna get it this year, but we're just so happy that they brought it back because it is stellar. You gotta try it if you come to the Flower and Garden Festival. Now, as I had said, you know, it's like flower and garden means things coming back to life. The purple martins are back. 
and they sound wonderful. Look at them. They're so excited. They know that it's Flower and Garden. Just awesome, man. Look at them flying around. Gorgeous. We've got some ground cover that looks awesome. Some Mickeys in the middle of there. These are gonna bloom all throughout the season. So they're just gonna get more you know, vibrant. They're gonna get bigger. And I did see a butterfly a couple seconds ago. I didn't get to film it. But we're gonna be on the hunt as well for the beautiful butterflies that are uh, coming back to you know, enjoy the flowers with us. And would you look at this Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, and Chip and Dale. They look gorgeous. Oh man, great photo op here. It honestly just astounds me how they make these topiaries. During the festival, they do sell at one of the booths uh, like a little topiary, um, you know, little set that you can do yourself, which I might have to do that this year just to try my hand at some topiaries. Maybe I'll do a good job, maybe I won't. But it's so worth it, because these are just, they're just gorgeous, man. A lot of hard work went into these. I knew I was gonna find a butterfly. <laughs> I just saw a real one, but we did find an area with some beautiful flowers, beautiful butterfly topiaries as well. Just stunning. And the smell, I wish I had smell vision for you guys, because it is, oh, succulent, man. It is so, such a wonderful smell. Just such a wonderful smell. So we got some beautiful ground coverage, and I figure we do a little thing called the 10 for Zen on this channel. So let's have a 10 for Zen with the monorail. But man, look at that. There's so much work that goes in to this, uh, to this festival as far as flower-wise alone, you know? Love it, we got the Mickey. So pretty. Now heading into World Showcase, who better to greet you than the Goofster, man? He is gigantic. Oh my goodness. He looks awesome. Got some big flowers to go with the big goofy in back. Gosh, Gosh Mickey. Oh, yo. <laughs> he looks amazing. So we're walking around here and what we have realized is that basically Flower and Garden is already here. Uh, just minus obviously the booths and the uh, and the entertainment and stuff. And the merchandise. It's almost here. But like as far as flower and, and the topiaries, they have they're they're at it, man. They're on it this year, which is so nice. So new, so festive, so new. I love the festival. Oh, it, it, I'm so excited to be here, uh, checking out. You know, pre pre festival. It's like it's almost like VIP. We are so excited right now. Can you imagine when the festival starts? And when the avocado toast comes? I think it's so beautiful. I lost Drew, by the way. I wonder where he is. Oh no, he's taking a zen moment. Just enjoying being here in Epcot today. The sun shining bright, beautiful music, surrounded by flowers. What else could you want? What else could you ask for? What else, guys? What else? I don't know. Maybe avocado toast. <laughs> avocado toast, yes! So we're not going to show you every single booth that is not open yet, but uh, Florida Fresh. Oh. Look, the days, actually the days. Oh, look at that, March 1st, and not March 4th. I don't know why I thought it was the 4th, so I apologize. I have a reservation for that day. That's right, that's right. Yeah, that's what it is. 
And the merch is coming. You guys know it's going to be merch time. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. They're back. The three caballeros. Look at them. They Los look amazing. Tres caballeros. They do look amazing. They're in their typical spa. They are, and uh, Panchito is my favorite. Let me know which one is you guys' favorite in the comments. Jose Panchito or Donald? Which one's yours, Queen? You said Jose, right? Yeah. Jale like Panchito. He's got a, he's like dapper with that shirt on. <laughs> Here in Norway, they've got this little troll, and he's like, I'm just wearing pants. He doesn't even need a shirt here in Florida. He's just going pants. They might be swim trunks, because maybe he's going to go to Typhoon Lagoon later. Maybe after the festival's over. I don't know. But he, look, he really does look cute. I love the two little teeth there. Of course, when we're in Norway, you also have Anna and Elsa. Looking beautiful. Looking powerful. That's awesome. Is that? What? That's not a topiary. That looks like somebody left their oh. porg. Oh no! I hope they remember to come back and get it. I'm sure Anna and Elsa will take care of it. They are going to be watching. Look, she looks fierce. She's like, stay away from the porg. Now we have been whisked away to China. Bear with us as we walk through China. And obviously I say that because I see a panda bear. A panda bear. I don't remember if we did or not, but look, you got mama bear and you got baby bear playing. They're adorable. So cute. And look, I love like the little detail where the panda is eating. I forget what they, what, eucalyptus? I think that they eat something like that. Or maybe that's koalas. I, I, I can't remember. Maybe bamboo. I don't know. Maybe a salad. They, yes, they maybe they eat salad. Look at he's playing with his food. <laughs> As you can tell, we have arrived in Italy. We actually took the walk through Germany, but they don't have any of the dwarves or Snow White up yet. But look at Queen. She was so excited to see Lady and the Tramp. This display, I love it. I love it because obviously I love Lady and the Tramp. We love Lady and the Tramp, but also how many flowers are on this area. It is so awesome. Just beautiful. Oh, it, 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 it's Flower Palooza. It's Flower Palooza with Lady and the Tramp. It is, and the music is so relaxing. I, I love traditional Italian music. Look, Queen is starting to like, you're blending in with the flowers. You get your flower dress, you get your flower ears. Just beautiful flowers, man. So guys, this is the secret spot back here, right near Regal Eagle where they will have typically like rarish characters out and about. We got Rabbit. Look at Rabbit. He looks so awesome. We got Rabbit and we have Stitch and we have Mickey. We're gonna have to say hi. Now Rabbit has to go, so we're not gonna be able to meet Rabbit. We love you, Rabbit. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> So guys, we, we just missed it. Uh, like we just caught it at the tail end. They basically basically were like taking their last uh, their last families or last parties. Uh, but it was okay. We get to see them. But I'm telling you, this is the spot. Yes. There's never a time you just have to get lucky enough to be walking by and look down this alley. Oh, we just take a little look because I look. I saw a bunch of people, but I didn't see the character because the people were like people are blocking them. them. So blocking them. Always like. Double check. But we did get to see Rabbit walking away. We got a wave. See, flower and garden. Rabbit's coming out. 
You know, see, because rabbit, oh, rabbit has a garden. Oh, he does. He does. See how we're we're including that in the in the flowering garden vibe. <laughs> Over here at the American Garden Theater, you got Garden Rock coming March first through July fifth. You'll have to check out, you know, on the i uh, my Disney app to find out which shows, you know, who's playing and whatnot. There is a few that me and Queen do want to see this year. Very excited about it. We are here in Japan, and I felt this was worthy to talk about the Japanese booth. Frushi is coming back. Um, I'm not a huge fan, but I know there's a lot of people that love it. So, uh, yeah, Frushi is coming back to Japan. Now, here in Japan, we just noticed they've got this cool thing that we think is going to be an awesome water element with some beautiful music. I can't wait to see this thing up and running if we're correct and that's what they're doing. Because it's right, right behind us is the Zen Garden. So I think that's kind of the vibe they're going with. Oh, they got it right over here as well. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. I'm gonna spend a lot of time here. And you can come over here and Zen out as well. They clean out some space here. They're gonna put something here. What they should put is a rake, so we can all go in there oh, yeah. and 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 rake and be zen. That's such a great idea. Now I love Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy. This is a very strange location for them. I feel like we're in like the Encanto area, um, and they were not here last year, right, Queen? No, they were over. They were over like near the UK. Um, still awesome, obviously. Kermit and P Miss Piggy. I just this is an odd placement of them. Let me know what you guys think. I just think it's an odd placement, but they look wonderful. They really do. I'm Kermit the Frog. Oh, Kermit! Let me know how I did on the impression. <laughs> And here we got Tink in the UK. They have like little, the little fairy houses. Look at this. That is so adorable. The little shoe, look at that little little toy shoe they turned into a little house. That is so cute. I love that. Oh, look at this. We're gonna check to see what's out back, but I love this little flower area. Yes, oh, teapots, yes. The little teapot. It's short and stout. Oh, these are awesome. I love this like color combination of flower right here. Look at these. Those are gorgeous. And they're in a little teapot. And it's not short and stout actually. It's pretty big. Right, because it's, yeah, it's a flower <laughs> teapot. So back here in the UK, we just found Mickey. Now, I don't know if they're just gonna let him grow out like that or if they're gonna do something else with it. I think it's a growing part. You think it's like growing? It, maybe it's in the process of, you know, doing its thing. But what I saw over here, my favorite animal of all time. Look at this elephant. That is awesome. Now that is wicked cool. That is wicked cool. I bet you Edward Scissorhands helped snip that. <laughs> right? <laughs> I love it. That is adorable. Of course I would have been disappointed if we didn't have Winnie the Pooh and friends topiaries and they are typically always in the same location. But you never know year to year. Here in the UK, look at Tigger, he looks so happy. He's bouncy, trouncy, fun, 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 fun. <laughs> oh my. And look at Piglet. Oh, Piglet looks adorable. Eeyore, he doesn't look super sad today. Probably because he knows right around the corner. It's Flower and Garden and he's gonna get a bunch of photo ops with people. Piglet looks just so adorable. Tick-tock, hook, tick-tock. He looks awesome. And me and Queen were just saying, we think that they've uh, refreshed some of these this year. 
Captain Hook looks really, really good. They really do look stunning, man. They, they look freshened up. I gotta say though, Peter looks a little too happy to be seeing Captain Hook. Oh, because he knows he's gonna win. No, you're right. I think you're right. <laughs> Earlier in the video, I was telling you guys that the, the Donald and Daisy had taken place of Bambi, Thumper, and Flower. And we were a little concerned that they weren't gonna be here this year, but here they are in their glory. I gotta say, one of my main reasons why these are one of my favorite topiaries is they are all color. Like they all have color, you know? They're all vibrant. Look at that. So the bee boxes are out. The bee boxes are out and I love this booth over here. One of my favorites for Flower and Garden, the Honey Bee Stro. You need to try this, this booth. I feel like if you like honey in any fashion, you will find at least one item. I, I found like items every time I come that are delicious. There's people waiting. Already. And then look, there's people waiting. They're gonna be waiting for like a week. <laughs> So I'm showing you guys this again. We showed it earlier with the monorail, but the reason why I stopped, we just walked pretty much into a wall of just delicious smelling flowers. I, literally, right? Wasn't it? We, yes. I, I, it stopped me in my tracks because all I could smell was these beautiful flowers, man. Oh, still smelling them. It smells so good. And we have the Lion King, and what I thought was so cool about it, look at Simba on his forehead. He has the little lines that Rafiki put on him. That is awesome. And it wouldn't be right if we didn't have Timon and Pumbaa. They look great, and they look really vivid. I don't know what they're doing this year, but they look a lot, uh, like the topiaries pop a lot more than they have in the past. So it's still obviously under construction, but back there is the butterfly tent. Highly recommend that if you have not ever been to Flower and Garden, if you've never been in the flower, uh, excuse me, the butterfly tent, you need to. It is so cool. All right, so all of this flower and garden fun and searching for it has gotten me very hungry. So we're gonna pop into the land and I'm gonna get something I've never gotten, some tacos. And I heard they're really good. My buddy Dad Got Parks told me that they're really, really good. So I gotta try them all for myself. So let's go in and eat some tacos. So here we are at the Seasoned Grill. We're gonna get some fish tacos, fire roasted corn salsa with creamy jalapeno, free pre sauce, a peri peri sauce, with radish and radish served with chips. So let's see how good this thing is. So here is the infamous fish tacos. They look really good. I'm pretty excited. It does come with plantain chips, which I love. Queen, you love them too? I love it. Plantain you know, chips is great. What I have to say about this is wow. Wow! So let's dig in and let you guys know how we really feel about these fish tacos. All right, guys, it's a little loud in here, so I'll try to talk a little louder than I normally talk, which is pretty loud anyway. Look at these things, though. Oh, yeah. It's got radishes on it. And what I'm really excited about, as far as fish tacos, I don't like it when the fish is breaded. Yeah. I don't like that. I like this. It, it's not, yeah, it's grilled. So you got a grilled piece, not a breaded piece. All right. It's got chimichurri on it. Woo! Cheers, everybody. Have a bite. Woo! All right, let's get into these and tell you what we really think. Mm. Oh man, that is aces. So good. It's refreshing too. Mm-hmm. Very refreshing. And uh, it's got a little kick to it. It is spicy. Like no, but it's almost like a, it's almost like a garlic. It's almost like a garlic kick. Um, oh, this is a ten. I will get these every single time. 
hands down, you must try these guys. If you like fish, if you like fish tacos, yeah. this is where it's at. Oh yeah, I'm going in for more. Mm. Mm. So, I said it, it was like a little spicy because of the garlic. I totally forgot there's jalapenos in here. There's like little chopped jalapenos. But that just shows you like, I thought it was a garlic like spice. I, I, I don't know what it is. Like certain people can handle spices, some yeah. people can't. Like I handle it better than Queen does for some weird reason. Um, but it does have jalapenos, so keep that in mind. If you don't like jalapenos, you might not want to get these, or you can see if they like not put them on for you. It's so good though. It's so good. But I just need to clarify that up. <laughs> it's not garlic, it's jalapeno. All right, guys, that is going to do it for this fun adventure on Drew in the Moment. Did you have fun? I had so much fun. And like you can see, Carolyn Garden is pretty much blue. It's already blue. blooming. It's blooming it's right here. now. <laughs> it's already blooming. But the topiaries are so fun to see for me. And seriously, though, the fish tacos. Yeah, man. They they went hard, as the kids say. So good. They went hard. I had it, so much fun. I had a good time. I had a good time. And I'm, I'm, it's that little snippet of like, what's to come? I cannot wait for this festival. It's going to be, it's going to be awesome. I just know it is. It is every single year. So, uh, but thank you guys for watching the vlog. We hope you enjoyed. We hope you got a little bit of information, maybe, at least where to go get the fish tacos. I'm going to be talking about those for days. Um, but no, seriously, thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, we hope you consider subscribing. And uh, come and hang out with us on more uh, adventures and journeys and stuff like that. But guys, till we see you next time, remember, there's only one way to live. In the moment. With fish tacos. And flowers. And flowers. Ooh. But more fish tacos. <laughs>